Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today we're going to take a look at the Dom Content Loaded event inside JavaScript. Um, so this event right here allows you to detect when the browser has finished parsing your document. Um, so you're going to want to use this whenever you're interacting with the Dom or the document um, as soon as the page loads up. So if you're going to be retrieving elements or you're changing elements on page load, you're going to want to wrap all that stuff inside this event right here. Um, it's like a safeguard um, between trying to access elements before the DOM or the DOM tree has fully loaded. So let's see an example of this in action right now. So um, let's hop inside the HTML for this document. It looks like this right now. We have an H1 tag right there with an ID of my title. So we're going to try and retrieve this h1 tag before um, the browser has reached this tag. So we can do this by adding a script tag up here. So we can add a script tag and we can say, um, we can make a new constant for this um, h1 tag. We can say const my title is equal to document get element by ID. We can pass my title inside here. So we have this title. Um, I can just console.log my title. Okay, I can save this and refresh my browser and we get null inside here. That's because the browser hasn't actually reached the h1 tag um, before it is trying to get the h1 tag. So this is happening and then this is happening. So um, by using the DOM content loaded event you're able to detect when the DOM has loaded and then you can retrieve your title. Um, so obviously here, um, this title is part of the DOM. It's part of the DOM content, which is why um, we're saying once the DOM content has loaded, then we can interact with it. So up here, let's change this code to instead say this. We're gonna say document.addEventListener. We're going to add the DOM content loaded event to the document. We're going to pass a callback function inside here. This function is going to run when the DOM content has loaded. So I can copy all this right here and paste it inside there. So now we should see the expected result. So I can save this and refresh my browser and now we get the h1 tag um, inside the console. So we can see how it works right there. Um, just keep in mind that this event was actually going to fire off as soon as the DOM has loaded, which means if you have resources like images or style sheets or JavaScript that is um, loading asynchronously in the background, this event can still fire off, which means it's quite fast. Um, it's not going to wait for your images. It, it's, it's, it's not going to wait for your, you know, your scripts and all that sort of stuff. It's going to fire off. Um, as soon as it's ready. So that's also a good benefit of this event right here. Um, now the Mozilla documentation uh, recommends that you only add this event listener if the document is loaded. Otherwise, sorry, if the document is loading. Otherwise, um, run your function um, separately. So um, the reason for this is because um, this event might fire off before we actually get this script. So this event could fire off before it runs this line of code. So in that case, this won't execute this function. So to prevent that from happening, um, we can instead up here, we can say if document.readyState is equal to loading, now we can add the event. Otherwise, we're going to run this function separately. So let's actually move this function right here into a separate function. So um, make a new function. We can call this one uh, DOM. Okay. And we can put all this stuff inside here, inside there. All right. So now we are going to copy this event listener. We're going to paste this inside here um, and replace this with, uh, with DOM else run DOM. So what's happening here is the event listener is only going to run if 
the ready state of the document is loading. So if the document is still loading, then add this event. Otherwise, just run the function by itself. So that'll safeguard to make sure that um, the event doesn't fire off before it has reached this line of code, if that makes sense. So I can save this now and refresh the browser and now we get the same result. So that right there is the DOM content loaded event inside JavaScript. If you guys are new to this event, make sure you use this inside um, all your future applications or websites. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.